remember, I break so many rules when it comes to road safety. I took a vehicle to school when I was in class 8. Just in class 8, I was not 18 years. So that is a violation. So luckily, our officers were not there those times. Otherwise, by now, I'm in jail. <laughs> and the law was not so strict. Those times, when I was in college or so, we drive on the roadside, we drive the vehicle. We are, means unknowingly, I did, I commit some uh, crime. But luckily that God protect that nothing had happened those times. And now I can give an example to others that this is not right. I do feel scared seeing somebody drive so fast. I enjoy, I'll, tell you, I'll share to you one thing. When I was in college, I, used, I loved to drive alone. My parents never allowed me, but I used to say, I have a friend to pick from Clarion or maybe Nature Road. I have some friends. I'll go with them. Actually, I lied to my parents. I drive alone. After I made an accident twice, then they came to know that I used to travel alone. And in that, what I do, full volume, and whoever tried to take overtake me, I chase him. I never let him overtake. That is how. Just think 800, I had 800 Maruti car, 800 Maruti car compared with the Scorpio and the other good luxurious car. But those times, I really don't know how God protect me. So, but that not everyone have the luck. Maybe one of you of us will have the luck. God will protect us. But don't think so that everyone will have that. If accident happen, there's second chance to survive is very less. So be aware, my dear students, because there's a lot of things that the world is so beautiful, we need to live. And especially when it comes to uh, child abuse, man, uh, man has just mentioned it, I will not go uh, with that anymore, but I've seen here we have even about drugs. It's so painful to see our friend, those who are addicted to drugs. You might have just heard about drugs, and people will tell you about a good story of drugs, which happened to me the same thing. When I was in college, I will just share it with you. I feel like a very bad student those times. I have done so many things when I was in college or so. When I was in college, I, it happened to be I met one of my friends. He took drugs. Then he told me how good things about drugs. So many good things. You'll sleep nicely, nobody is there to, uh, what to say, you'll not know about the world, what happened. You will feel like you have created your own world. What you want, everything is there. And he slept for three days, continuous, without having anything. Just think, that is his first time, how he, how he go through that. Then it happens to be, I, me also, I almost, he almost convinced me to take drugs. But luckily, I was staying alone those times, far away from parents, from family, in a, our own house in Chilong. So I was so free to do anything I want, if I want to do it. At that time also, I was tempted to take drugs. But what happened, knowing that for three days, I will not be awake, and then my parents will call me, if three days no talk to your parents, then what will happen? They'll come to seek and search for you. So that is how I am fear of what will happen, then I end up, I didn't take drugs. I escaped. God, be, God was there with me, that's why I didn't take it. And sad to say, the friend who introduced, who told me about drugs, he's no more. At a very young age, 22 years old, he died. He passed away. Just think, now I'm, I got the opportunity to see the world, to see this life, how beautiful is it? Because I escaped drugs. Just think, if I was with him, by now I'll not be your Emily. <laughs> so, God really protect me in so many things. So I would like to request you, be aware from all these things. It's not that we give you awareness program so that you will know about drugs, you will know about how to speed your vehicle, you will know about how to do child abuse, so that you'll do it. We want you to know so that you will tell the others and do you also not to do it. But one more thing, very sad to see that why do we have to have awareness program? And why do we have to have this rehabilitation centers? And why do we have to need this uh, workshop centers? Why do we need police department, health department? It's just that we are not cooperating. We want things to we want to practice things. And if all of us 
will not do any bad things. I believe that hospital will be empty. Police department, we don't need much police officers. Don't mind me. <laughs> Otherwise, will be everyone will be jobless. So, but we do require you in other field. But at least for the crime, there will not be so many criminals, and we don't have to tackle much, which is very difficult. It pays for them also to punish you. It pays. Nobody wants to punish others, knowing that God is there. But it just hard. It is their duty to punish you and give you a punishment so that you change, and that not only you will change. Knowing that you will not change for your whole life, but at least to set an example for others that they will not do it. Police is there to control, but you are there to change. So my only submission is that do well in your life. Like our Honorable Minister Sir said, he was one lucky chap huh? who, 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 who almost didn't get himself killed despite driving rashly, blah, 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 <laughs> right? My only thing to you is do not try your luck, right? Because you, you might not know whether you were lucky or not, right? So I'll, I'll close by saying just one thing that it's very, uh, you know, it, 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 it gets uh, depressing when everybody gives you sermons in life it starts with your parents early morning you know then you come to school then teachers do the same now one of my friend I asked him once he became drug addict can, can you differentiate when you were not a drug addict and now you are a drug addict he said initially I used to take drugs to stand out I repeat, initially I take, I used to take drugs to stand out. Now I am taking drugs to stand out. But I'll tell you one thing. The friend or the people whom you are trying to impress with your speed or with the fact that you are not wearing a seat belt or with the fact that you are not wearing a helmet, if you meet an accident, they will be the first ones to say, kya bebkuf tha. There is no heroism in road accident. Let me repeat that. You might feel that even if we are speeding, even if we meet in road accident, nothing will happen to me. And people will still be in awe of us that how speed he, I mean how rash or how how fast he can drive. But nobody gives a damn. In East Yatta Hills in the year 2021 to 2022. Okay. Out of these, last year, 25 death, uh, 21 deaths were reported due to road accidents. And this year, this year till date, 10 people have lost their lives in road accidents. And many others were injured. Now, uh, just, just have a look at this next, it's a little uh, graphic, but just have a look, it will get into your minds. See, well, it's not clear, but you can imagine, you can see the, you know, this is from here, from our district. So, what are the causes of road accidents? There are different causes of road accidents. The number one is over speeding. You are all uh, staying here in East Jet Hills, in and around uh, Clearia, Lahambai. You see how people drive over here. It's unbelievable. You know, they drive so fast, it's like uh, a Formula One track. So, over speeding. You know, driving a car very fast is the number one reason for road accidents. So remember, speed thrills, but it kills. You leave early, reach reach a little late, no problem. Because it's always better to be late, to be late than never. So we are, you know, in a few years time, or even now, so you go out with your friends, have a party. If you want to drink and you have a car, you have to drive, drink till you can't drive anymore. And stay in your friend's place, go the next day. Okay. Better to be drunk one day than to have a fatal road accident rate in the road. And next one, very common here also, is rash and negligent driving. This simply means that, you know, ki overtake Kuma, means they, they overtake in a, in a manner without caring for others. There's a, you know, there's a truck in front, I don't want to overtake it. I will not care whether there are traffic coming from the other side or not. I'll just overtake. 